in this video we're going to be looking at um, general linear models uh, using using SAS. The first of which is a regression model. Let's take a look at a regression model. So we do PROC REG, that's the name of the procedure. The data file we're going to use is in the MAT008 library and it's called J, 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 how am I missing that? <laughs> JJJ. Then we use the keyword model to simply say, okay, this is what we're going to try and get a regression for. So model, we want to model the height in meters as a function of uh, the following regressors. regressors. So weight in kg and savings in pounds. Let me just open that up slightly. Okay. Put a semicolon there and a run statement. Run that code. Takes a little bit longer. Let's take a look at our output window. If I scroll to the top, so the first set of results for the regression model, we see the p-value for the model here is um, is less than 0 0.05, so we can accept that the model is a good fit by rejecting the, whole, the null hypothesis. Um, and then if we actually look at the, so scrolling down, look at the two regressors for the weight in kg and the savings in pounds. So the weight in kg um, we can accept, and the savings in pounds we could reject. So we're going to take a closer look at that now. But if I just open up my home folder um, on Ubuntu, what we have is these plots get um, get produced by SAS. So all the plots resulting from the regression. So you could you you obtain those um, on all systems, of course. So close that back down. Um, so yes, as I said, looking at this, it doesn't really look like savings in pounds is that good a fit. So we'll try to run the, the model again, but without the um, savings in pounds. So model height in meters equals weight in kg. And if we run that, Now the model is once again uh, can be accepted. So we reject the null hypothesis, and we see again that the weight in kg has the same thing. So I'll say run regression model. If we open up the home folder again, we actually have a, a plot being created as the height in meters against the weight in kg, which is quite nice. Right. Um, another type of model that we might want to do is an analysis of uh, of variance, and to do this, we're actually going to use a, a new data set again. So open up my, my home folder and this folder here, math.csv, which you just have um, a professor, A, B, or C, or D, and a grade, and um, what, what calculus test they did. But we're only going to be using the, those two, so if I close that down, close that down. It's very simple to run a, a one-way ANOVA, PROC ANOVA. Oh, sorry. The the first thing we need to do is import the data set. So proc import data file equals. And again, this will be different on different systems. Proc import out equals mat008 dot math. We've seen this many times. And get names equals Yes, so I do want to get the name of the variables from the first row and a run. So I run that, look in my library, MAT008, there's a, a math file there. And now to run an ANOVA, a one way ANOVA, proc ANOVA, data equals MAT008.math, um, which is the data set we just created. And I want to check if the um, professor has an impact on the grades. So class prof, which is the name of that variable, um, semicolon there, I'm forgetting. 
the model is um, whether or not the grade um, is dependent on the prof and a run statement. So if I run these, oh, variable prof not found. So let me just do a prop contents data equals mat 008.math run variable prof with one f. So that's my mistake. Get rid of those f's and simply rerun that code. And what do we have? So we have the uh, overall model, the, the p-value is, is less than 0 0.05, so we can reject the null hypothesis, which is that the means and all the group are the same. And uh, the result is that, um, that basically the, the professors have an impact on the grade. This also throws out a few graphs. If I come down here and go to box plot 1, which has just been produced, double-click on that, you do see that the grades do seem to be dependent on the prof. Um, and that's that's the how you do a very simple ANOVA. Now, there's a third procedure step called GLM for, for general linear model. And basically, all the stuff we've just done with PROC REG and PROC ANOVA, we can do with PROC GLM. So um, I'll try that, PROC GLM. And what's nice is that the nomenclature, the, con the, um, the syntax is all the same. So I'll try and rerun that regression that we did on the height, so mat008.jjj model um, I try to get the height in meters as a function of the weight in kg. I won't run it for the savings in pounds because we'll get just get the, the same results. If I run that we have the the same result as before. And we can also get a one-way ANOVA, as many as many other things that we won't go into in this um, in this uh, in this video. Oh, look! Something very interesting popped up in the log. I wrote prog. I made a spelling uh, a spelling error there. A little typo trying to go too fast on my keyboard. But Sass was smart enough to realize I probably meant proc. So that that happens sometimes, um, but obviously you don't always count on it. You should always check your log. So proc glm data equals mat 8 math. We're going to try and run that ANOVA. So class prof and then the model is whether or not the grade is the same across the prof levels. And we run that. Variable prof not found, I've made the same mistake. And if we run that, we get the, the same thing. So we reject the null hypothesis and basically we get the, the same values as before. Um, so the means are different. And also, if we go back here, it's producing the same graphs as before. And that is how um, to do some very basic um, linear models in SAS.